morning everyone welcome to the video um, we have had a whole week's worth of terrible weather so I'm not in the best mood I uh, my mood is determined by the weather basically if if the weather is not great if it's cold I'm generally not in the best mood so the last few days I've been a bit sad but it's not raining today so I'm hoping today will be a better day uh, Lace had two weeks, two days off this week. She had the, what was it, the Wednesday and Thursday off because it was very wet. Yesterday I brought her out and did some long raining work with her um, in the bridle. She's actually had quite a hard time accepting the bridle. She has a lot of brace coming directly from her mouth because I don't feel the same brace in the halter as I do in her face. So. We're just going to take today by ear. I'm hoping to just get back on, just lope around, get her moving with me under, um, get her moving with me on her, get a bit of a lope, get a trot both ways. She's in a good mood by the looks of her. <laughs> and um, see where it takes us. I'm hoping that once I do that, I will put the bridle on and see how she goes. Um, a lot of the brace came from her backing so if I was to ask her to back with the bridle she would really fight it and would threaten a rear which I don't want I don't want any horse flipping over or doing anything silly so I'm glad I did it with the long reins because I didn't get any of that crazy rearing and it wasn't dangerous and by the end of the session she was she was okay she was backing nicely and this girl picks things up pretty quick so I predict that today is going to be a lot better than the day of when I first tried to ride her with a bridle on. All right let's see how she goes today. I didn't film any more with Lace because her owners actually came and watched her being ridden and I feel like it happens all the time but I get a little bit self-conscious when their owners come to, to watch. I don't know why and I'm sure they thought she was doing great but I was like oh no why isn't she moving off my leg very well and why is she not doing this but she did fine and um, we worked in the bridle a little bit and what else did we do? Yeah, I just had her cantering a little bit. But yeah, she was a bit braced on my leg. She was ignoring it a little bit, which I will work on in the next lesson. So yeah, she's just been put away and I am actually going to go out for a coffee with, with my friend, which also happens to be Lace's mum. And... Then I'll come home and I really want to get Elvis back out. I, I miss riding him. I haven't ridden him since last weekend. So I'm going to grab him out, see what he's like. And if he's in a good mood, I might lead Lace for a bit of a trail ride because it's just about time that she needs to get out and on the trail because that's what 
her owner wants out of her, wants her to be a trail horse. I think she'll be a good one. I'm gonna get changed because I look gross. I'm gonna try and hide this pimple somehow and yeah, go grab a coffee. I'm back from having a coffee that turned into a bit of lunch and a like three hour conversation with my friend. I'm now going to get Alvis out. And if he's not feeling too bad, I'm going to then also get Lace out and go for a bit of a trail ride. Alvis is looking a bit chubby. I know, I'm sorry, I'm not meaning it in an offensive way you're just looking a bit chubby look at that look at that tummy tum tum he's still a bit dirty but I don't know we're not going anywhere we're just going up the bush it doesn't need to be super clean and it's been muddy lately so I'm not gonna put pressure on myself to have A bit of a I gave you a spin last time let's let's do another one spin it he's just good boy he's just the best I hope everyone who loves horses gets to have a horse like him one day like gets to enjoy like their one horse that they just feel so in love with and yeah. that's all all right I don't think I'm gonna have enough hands to actually film this but I'm just gonna show you the before as we're leaving now these two are a little bit in love to Elvis and her they squeal at each other all the time so I'm keeping her away um, Behave yourself, Missy, and don't run in front of me. No, don't run in front. This is why I need both my hands, dim it. There's Lacey. Now this. Stop walking in front of me. You're so pretty though, but girl, girlfriend, you need to go back. You don't get to lead yet. It's not your job. She's like, um, I'm the leader. No, you are not. This is how I'm, again, I've got to ride a bit safer. Kick your poo off the road. Hot take. We went past some barking dogs and she handled that really well. And she's definitely looking around a lot and she's sort of sucking on to me and Elvis. And Elvis isn't loving that. But he's being a gentleman. Oops. Oh my god. Okay, let's keep going. She's doing good. Alright, we should have done this before we left, but we're just home and we're just I'm getting her to actually move off. Because at the moment she was just racing forward. bit 
racy. No walking in front, so you just gotta watch. Okay. There we go. Now I'll go this way. And then you walk back there, that's nice. Oh, not too far back. I am all horsed out. Just got back from the trail ride and it was successful, but it was a lot. I sometimes forget what baby horses are like. The place was very looky and kind of made Elvis a bit annoyed, which is fair enough, but anyway. Um, I think tomorrow I wanna actually go for a ride for just enjoyment. Just ride Elvis by himself so I don't feel stressed because it was a bit stressful, but successful nonetheless. It was good to get some exposure for, to give Lace some exposure, so yeah. But that is it for horses for me today. Um, Tom and I are gonna go for a bit of a drive, take the dogs somewhere. I'm gonna watch him cut firewood. I'm not going to cut any myself. And yeah, have a break for the rest of the day. Hey, Buzzy! Chili, come. Hello, baby girl. Let's keep going. Hello, man. got back from our drive it was nice I'm cold so I put my give up pants on give up cardi on and now we are going to go get some dinner we are gonna get burritos from Zambreros it's our favorite spot to get burritos from Just got back from getting some dinner. We had a bit of dessert too. We got apple pies from Macca's and I had a Macca's Coke. I'm going to now feed these hungry vulture dogs. <laughs> Look, I, I shaved his mo because it was getting feral and now he looks like a pinhead. <laughs> Thanks for watching today, guys. It was nice spending a whole day vlogging, trying to get like my whole day in one video um yeah thanks for watching and i will see you guys next week <laughs>